Okay, today we're leaving our house in Hoi An. We're actually leaving our house for two nights. We're headed 15 miles north to go to Da Nang City, big city. It's got an international airport. Uh, we've been there several times to go shopping because there's no supermarkets here in Hoi An, so we need to go grocery shopping and that sort of thing. We always go to Da Nang. It's actually got a mall, it's got a movie theater. We saw an entire movie in Vietnamese. We didn't know it was Vietnamese when we got there. No subtitles or anything. So anyway, we're gonna stay one night in Da Nang. Then we're going to Way to stay one night. And Way is a UNESCO World Heritage Site because it is the last imperial city of Vietnam. It's where the emperor, the last emperor of Vietnam uh, was born and lived. Uh, so we're going to be taking a van to Da Nang, we're going to take another van to Hue, and we're going to go by the Hai Von Pass, which is supposed to be extremely picturesque. So we're going to stop there, take some pictures, see what there is to see, and then we're taking a train back to Da Nang from Hue, and then taking another van back to Hoi An, and we're going to arrive in Hoi An probably around 12.30, probably 1 a.m. or so. So it should be a very action-packed couple of days. Well, we just drove to Da Nang. We're sitting here in our hotel room. It's called the Perriot Hotel. We got another uh, two-bed room because, well, we're only here for a night. And the beds are actually fantastic. They're soft and, man, are they comfortable. So we're very happy about that, except for Aiden, of course, who likes hard beds. And then, uh, oh, so the Peria Hotel is right across from the Dragon Bridge. In Da Nang, there's this bridge that looks like a dragon. And at nighttime, on the weekend, it spits fire and water. So Aiden, obviously, is most concerned with... Hmm? What? What are you most concerned with this hotel? What's your number one concern every time we go to the hotel? It's not the bed. The bed is always secondary. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. So we have not eaten anything this morning and we're all starving and we need to get out and go get something to eat. a nice western breakfast here at the Red of Life. Now we're gonna go back to the hotel. Bash forgot his sunglasses. And then we're gonna go check out Lady Buddha. We're here at the uh, Lin Ung Pagoda and Lady Booty Booty Lady Buddha statue. Uh, it is the largest statue in Vietnam and the pagoda is the largest one that's in Da Nang. The statue is meant to communicate that it's leaning on the mountain, facing the sea, with kind eyes looking down, with a hand exercising, while the other hand is holding a bottle of holy water, as if sprinkling the peace to the shore for fishermen. On the hat of Lady Buddha, there is a two meter high Buddha statue and inside there are 17 floors in the statue and each floor has 21 buddha statues i don't know if it's actually inside the statue itself or if it means each of the levels in this complex that there are 21 buddha statues okay and each one have different shapes facial expressions and postures which communicate different types of buddhas and what they're supposed to be doing as part of the evolution of the Buddha. This is 
the one of the highest spots in Danone. So you can see all of the beach and all of the city from here. Like you can actually see the statue from Hoi An where we're staying and it's like 15 miles away. Uh, Bastion likes to call it a spaceship that's going to be taken off soon. <laughs> Because <laughs> you just see it, you can't really make it out that it's a statue, you just see like, wow, that's some shrieking breaks. Yeah. Because you can't really make out that it's a statue, just a big, white, you know, cylindrical thing. Yeah, so the pagoda itself is called the Lin Ung Bai But Pagoda. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not. And this whole complex is supposed to be the harmony and combining the age of modernness and the tradition of the Vietnamese pagoda. I think so too. It's still, uh, it's still always crazy trying to get across the street. <sighs> anyway, and we were on a crosswalk too. So right now, me and the Bee Man are headed down to go see the Fire Breathing Bridge firsthand. We have about 30 minutes to walk all that way. Aiden and Mom have decided to watch it from the rooftop of the hotel. 
So we're gonna get a couple different views of it. This should be pretty fun. What do you think, B-Man, it's gonna be fun? Yeah. I've never seen a fire spinning bridge. I have never seen a fire spinning bridge either. Yeah. And it is... It, do you think it actually spits water too? Yeah, that's what they say. They say it spits fire, then it spits a ton of water. Oh, but wouldn't it get the cars all wet? Yeah, I think so. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. We're going to find out. It's very beautiful tonight, though. Look at it. Yeah. And this town is alive right now. It's a happening place. It reminds me of the major cities and... Uh, the U.S. right now. Yeah, it really does. Da Nang is a, a lit up city. Yeah. Hello. Maybe it reminds me of New York or Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah, it does. Like a little bit, a little baby, a little baby New York. Yeah, we're a little baby Las Vegas. So we got to walk all the way here to the head of the fire breathing dragon bridge. Yeah. So. I guess it's a free car wash for the cars when it spits water. That's true, but I can't imagine it's going to be soapy clean water with a good rinse. Yeah. <laughs> I think it'll just be uh, like raining on a car. Yeah. And it's probably going to be packed up there by the head of the dragon. Yeah. See, that's the tail right there. Yeah. I think it's way cooler uh, up close in person than from the hotel. I think so too. Well, there's where uh, Mom and uh, Aiden are. Yeah. At the top of the Period Hotel. So we have, we have 24 minutes to make it to the end of this bridge because the dragon spits fire at 9 p.m. And that reminds me that I wanted to comment on the fact that so far in Vietnam, everything's been very timely. People show up on time, things start on time, everything's been on time. It's been really awesome. Oh, we're getting soaked! 
me, man. Oh, no, not the GoPro. I gotta turn it off. Woo, man. Yeah, that was an experience. That was an experience. So, me and B-Man got totally drenched here. And uh, it uh, spit water that one time I got a camera, but I had to shut it off because it was so much water. I thought it was just gonna ruin the camera. So then it spit water two more times. Everybody's just drenched. And it covered, I mean, it, the spray that they put on it, the nozzle they put on it just spreads everywhere. And it's a really fine mist. You just get drenched. That was awesome. Yeah. We had a lot of fun, didn't we? Yeah. Those guys missed that part. That's the. The fire was cool, but the water, for some reason, was super fun. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Denang. We're out of here. Say goodbye. Bye.